Look at all these hammers. There are a lot to choose from. Well, can you walk us through them? We'll start right here with the big boys. These are the framing hammers. You know, it's a long handle, a heavy head, 22, 23, 28 ounce. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes they come with a, a little dimple head here. What's that for? It's a waffle head or a wafer head so that the hammer head won't slip off the nail when you're trying to toe nail it in a hard to get place. And we're going to use these to drive big nails for some rough framing. Yeah, that's right. Okay, but not always what we want to use. We want to step it down sometimes. You want to step it down, you want to go to a 16 ounce hammer. This is a 16 ounce wooden, graphite or steel with a rubber grip. And they're all trying to absorb the shock that you, get, that you get during the day from that hammer hitting that nail. One work better than the other? Do you have a preference? It's really a preference. You go on the job site today and you can find six different hammers with six different people. I use the wood. I've always used wood mm -hmm. and I just find that it's better in, for me. All right. Well, I like wood too. There are also a lot of specialty hammers for all different types of jobs. There's specialty hammers like there's a slater's hammer for slate roofs. There's a shingle and hammer for wood shingles on sidewalls and roofs. This is a hammer that has a gauge right here so that when I drive my nail, I can hit that gauge against the bottom butt and I know that I want to drive my nail right here so the next course will hide that nail. Ah, okay. There's also a cutter here so I can cut this shingle down to the rough width that I want and then I can true it up with my, uh, with my plane later. So one hammer, a couple different jobs. Perfect. Exactly. exactly. All right. And then this guy right here is for metal work, isn't it? This is it? for light metal, for malleting light metal around a corner or a curve, a ball peen hammer. How about this guy? This is a bricker's hammer for basically cutting a brick, for example. You just hit it around the perimeter of the brick like that, all the way around, and then you whack it and the brick is cut to work. All right, so a lot of options for a lot of different jobs. Let's talk technique, because once you get the hammer in your hand, you actually have to use it. So you want to drive some nails? Yeah, sure. All right, take a hammer. All right, I'll grab, grab this your guy. safety glasses. Yep, always some glasses here. All right, now the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you grab the hammer correctly. Let's see how you're going to hold your hammer. All right. Now you got a good grip, I like that. You want to be down near the end, and you're pretty good. I like to be right in that little curve Just right there. See how you can feel oh, it right there yeah, around your hand? Sure gets fits bigger. My hand. All right, now let's see you drive it now. All right, let me get it started off. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. But I notice that you're swinging like this. All right, you're not let. That's right. You, yeah, you're not letting the hammer do the work. What I like to do is I'll take the nail and I'll whack it a couple times, get it started. Mm -hmm. Now I want to use the hammer along with my body. I want to take it and I want to drive it. Wow, so you're really coming back up high. Absolutely. High and you want to look at that nail. You want to just continue right down and look at the nail. If you look away and you see your hammerhead, you're going to miss the nail. Okay. So now once we've gotten them in, every once in a while I'll miss hit it and I've got to pull it out. Yeah. There's yeah. some techniques of getting them out too, right? Well, a straight claw hammer, you can get under that nail and you can pull it. But let's say the nail is in a hard to get place or low like this and I can't get the straight claw under there. Yep. Now I can get my claw, the side of my hammer in here, I can get under it. Now I get some good leverage and I can pull uh, the nail right yeah. up and finish it off at the other end. Now you refer to straight claw, which ref references this straightness right here, but there's also curved claws. This is a curved 16 ounce. Now I want you to pull that. Let me drive two nails for you. You got one there and this one right here. All right, which one do you want right. me to start with? Start with the curved claw. Okay, curve. Get it in there. Comes good out leverage. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Pretty easy. Now use the straight claw. All right, will you hold that for me? Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot less leverage, it's more right. work. But now you're also putting a lot, a lot of force on that hammer on the wood and you could damage it. So now if you put a fulcrum under that, okay, so protect now you're going to use a straight claw, oh, much and, easier, right? Yeah, it sure and is. And you didn't damage the wood. Now you can use the wood under the curved claw also. Mm -hmm.